Okay, we are back for our first game of the season, and it is against Gillingham, and it's at home, and this is the team we're going to be putting forward today, so we're going with our wing play system, and we have Bingham and Ennis up front, Sabia and Taylor in the wings, Kerpinger and Whitman in the midfield, Rhys James, um, John Baptiste, Joe Wright, and Matty Blair in the back and Sunny Dang as our goalkeeper and we have Halliday comes in for Blair, Sheaf for the midfield, Reynolds for the left back and he can also come into the midfield as well should something terrible happen to the midfield um, and then Anderson for any of our centre backs and Navarro is one of our new young strikers that we signed so he can come in up front and dear me can come in by the side of the wings and so let's hope for the best all right we can automatically get numbers they're 49 and 48 imagine that all right we're going to passionately Say, go out and impress me. Maddie Blair liked that. He's looking to impress me. Alrighty. And let me make sure that I have. Alright. So we have a throw in Maddie Blair to Ennis. Ennis over to Maddie Blair again. And we've conceded the ball to Gillingham, who passes it forward for Jackie Biak who Bright manages to intercept the shot and Gillingham with the first corner of the match and they head it just over the bar James now with the throw in and it finds Salvia who takes a shot I guess and takes a second shot but both times it's straight into a Gillingham player but we've won the corner and Kerpinger is the one to take the corner and it finds Niall Ennis but is, is unable to really do anything other than head it back to John Taylor who takes the shot and it goes way over the bar and Gillingham are actually doing quite well I think John Taylor's nervous he's He's feeling the pressure of his debut. And it is Gilliam with the free kick in our half. And Taylor manages to win the ball. And he he's running for it. And he passes it back to James, who passes all the way over to Maddie Blair, who passes forward to Niall Ennis, who loses the ball. Um, and it goes back to Jakubiak, who takes the shot, but it's but it's wide, and hits the side of the net. And doing him now with the throw in to Jakubiak, Fuller, and they're just knocking the ball around, having a good old time. It took the shot, but again. It's wide. Coping in now with a free kick in their half. And Salvia on the end of it. And once again just kicks it straight into the players. But wins the corner. So I can't be too upset with it. Coping in now. Over to no one in particular. But it finds Ben Whitman who takes a pass presumably. And it's straight into the two people in front of him. And the first half was fairly uneventful, although we've had 12 shots, only three of which were on target. So we are going to assertively say that I'm not pleased with them. Now Linus doesn't particularly care. He's like, ah, oh, that's fine. <laughs> it's fine, you can be not pleased with me. Right now, through to Baptiste, who passes over, but it only finds a blue shirt 
and he heads to the ball and manages to win it back immediately. Blair now with a throw in to Taylor, Taylor back to Blair, through with a ball forward for Niall Ennis, who passes back to Blair, Blair again with a ball forward but it only finds a blue shirt and we are looking to not concede here and we, Joe, not Joe Wright, sorry, uh, Kokinger intercepts there and, but again, they are attacking. And now Kieran Salvia with the ball through to Bingham, who takes the shot, or maybe that was meant to be a pass, and is almost 90 degrees wide. And it's now with the ball forward for Salvia, who takes a shot and is also like maybe 45 degrees wide. Coping with a free kick and it finds Wright who heads it and that one was quite close in comparison. Whitman now with a free kick and he finds the wrong end of the net. Now it's Gillian with the free kick and it may also head it straight over the bar. So let's see, we are now at 60 minutes and so we're probably going to look at subbing someone. Um, I mean, Reese James is booked and he's he's getting he's getting tired. So let's uh, bring John on for him. I did not put John, right, because John's, John's injured. So we'll bring Reynolds on for him for his Doncaster debut. And we might see how everyone else goes. We could maybe bring on Dan Lee for Safia. And hopefully that would just freshen up the attack a little bit. So let's give that a shot. And Jillian with a corner now. And once again, it's a header just over the bar. Seems to be the the narrative of this of this match, coping it with the corner now. And he passes over, but it only finds a blue shirt, but James, I mean, Baptiste is on the other side of it. And they pass the ball forward. Maddie Blair now through to Taylor. Taylor over to, presumably, to Ennis, but is unable to find him. And Gillingham are on the attack now. And they pass the ball forward. And it ricochets off two Doncaster players. But they're still attacking. And Baptiste slides in there to win the ball back. Let's demand more for this last. We might bring someone in for Whitman. We'll see how this goes. And Reynolds now with the ball forward for Bingham, but it is tackled clear for the Gillingham goalkeeper, who with a big ball over only manages to find Baptiste, who passes through to Zach Dianley, through to Bingham, passes back to Dianley, who passes back to Bingham, I suppose, and Zach Dianley again. I think that was an attempt at shot, or it could be an imposter being I'm unsure. Copinga now with the corner. Copinga manages to find Joe Wright, who passes back to Copinga, who passes through to no one. Alright, let's bring in Ben Sheaf for Whitman, and let's see how that goes. Probably should have instead. Actually, let's, let's bring on Naravo for Bingham. And it is a Gillingham throw in, and it only manages to go as far as Baptiste. Now it's with Copinger with a ball forward for Navarro 
who passes through to Ennis, who loses it. And it is 87 minutes in, still nil on nil. Now Ennis with the ball now. <laughs> Tries to pass it, but went to the corner instead, so curving it to take the corner. And it finds a blue shirt, but Baptiste now on the end of a loose ball. Passes through to Whitman, who passes forward and it just fades out. Three minutes of extra time added. Baptiste now with the ball forward for Niall Ennis, who takes the shot and gets his first goal of the season. The first shot, sorry, ricochets off the goalkeeper and he takes the second shot and it goes straight into the back of the net to put. Donnie in the lead with <laughs> at 90 minutes and 30 seconds. Truly, this would be an absolutely horrendous game to watch if you're a fan, I think. Taylor now with the ball. And he runs with it, but it's all over. And Doncaster have won. 1-0 with Niall Ennis' goal in the 90th plus one minute. So I guess, I mean that wasn't, that wasn't ideal. I don't know if I should say that was a good win or I should say that I wasn't pleased with it. Their, all their ratings seem to be alright. We'll say, we'll say that was a good win. Alright. Okay, back for the Rochdale game, and we are going with a more defensive formation. Um, so we have Niall Ennis up front, Southia and Taylor in the wings, Ben Sheaf and Kobinger in the midfield, Whitman as our defensive midfielder, Rhys James, Cameron John, Baptiste and Blair in the back, and Sunny Dane in goal. And then we have Anderson coming in. Uh, centre back my plan is is if because I don't have anyone to come in for Whitman so if he's not doing great we'll, we'll drop him back and bring in uh, either Anderson or Wright and then we have Chapman can come in for the midfield Danny comes in for either of the wings Wright comes in at centre back Redding comes in for either of the wings and May can come in for Ennis And they're playing the exact same formation. Alright, let's let me be passionate. Passionately ask them to show me what they can do. Perfect. They seem they seem happy. And at kickoff Rochdale with possession. Not too concerned right now. Taylor wins the ball um, and stops their slow attack for a throw in. Taylor now to Norrington Davies. And Rochdale is still just vaguely kicking the balls around us. Ball, I should say. There's only one, presumably. And Ben Sheaf manages to intercept the past, or well, apparently that was a tackle, and he passes through to James, and it goes out. Fade to black, one might say. Mm, ben Sheaf gets a yellow. And it is 20 minutes in, and so far a fairly eventful game we have two yellows so clearly clearly Doncaster into it they want to trip people up and it is a Rochdale throw in in their half and McShane's really just taking his time there with a big ball forward for Henderson 
and again Rochdale really just trying to find the space to shoot and they take a shot but it is on the wrong side of the net and it goes out for a Donny goal kick. Let's demand more from our players and now they're all focused. No one's playing particularly well. Um, it's nil all at half time. Let's say we're not doing badly at all, I suppose. A couple of them liked that. Um, we were tipped to lose this one. So I can't be too hard on them, I suppose. Copinger now, back to Baptiste, who passes through to John Taylor, up to Niall Ennis, who is dispossessed, but he manages to win it back, um, through to Maddie Blair, passes over to Tavia, who heads it just wide. That would have been a good goal had he gotten it in. And Rochelle in possession, yet again. But Copinger manages to win the ball and he passes forward to Niall Ennis, who is hop almost looks like he's hobbling. And he takes a shot and it ricochets right off the player and is cleared. Watch Xiao now with a throw in. And it only. Ooh. That was intense. But Copinger manages to clear it. And it's been a fairly even game so far. Let's take off Sheaf and Salvia, neither of which are doing particularly well. Neither is now Ennis, so we're going to... Sheaf will definitely come off just because he's on a red. He's on a yellow. So Chapman comes in for him. And then I think who is who's going poorer? Let's bring someone on for Salvia then. So we'll bring Zach Diemly on. And hopefully that can freshen things up for us a little bit here. And Rochelle now with the corner. Bowditch, what a name, and they get their goal. Paul McShane's first goal of the season, straight from a corner. That was an insane header. I feel like he came flying in there, but maybe I just wasn't paying attention. He did. He just came absolutely flying in to head the ball. It's insane. Taylor now with the ball. Passes through to Maddie Blair, who passes over to Dean Lee, who heads it in and it's just wide. And I think we will bring on, I mean, Nalas is doing really poorly. So we're going to bring on me. And that will be our final substitution. And let's see how that goes. Rochdale now with the ball forward and they only managed to find James. I don't know if that was a shot or if it was just a really poor pass. Come on lads. Sure. And Maddie Blair with the free kick through to Baptiste up to John Taylor who really just walks around with the ball. Back to Baptiste, who can only find a blue shirt. McShane, the Mr. Header. And it goes through to Henderson, who takes the shot, but Diang saves it. Come on, lads. Alright. Let's go attacking for this last little bit. <laughs>
and it, with four minutes out of time, we're at four minutes ninety four thirty. We have a free kick, but it is not enough. And at full time, it is one nil. That was. I'm not happy with your performance out there. Very good. Very good. A very up and down set of matches for us today. Wow. So we will return. Our next match is the first round of the Carabao Cup, but we'll probably return for the Leasing Cup trophy, Leasing Trophy against Shrewsbury and the Rotherham match. So sad. <laughs> Look how sad our form is. <laughs> well, very good. Okay. With that, thanks for watching and if you've enjoyed yourself, please like the video and subscribe and if you want to see more of me I do stream on Twitch at www.twitch.com slash Danielle Art and thank you so much for watching.